Hey, what's going on? My name is Juan, and thank you for checking out my video. In this video, we're going to create a Gravity Forms add-on. So this will give you a basic idea of how to create an add-on for Gravity Forms. In this specific case, we're going to create a cool little add-on that give the user a bunch of questions. So in this case, we got five questions here with um, a radio button one through five, which is going to be a test. At the end of the five questions, we calculate that total, and we will display it to them on the confirmation page using a simple jQuery progress bar. So this will be a simple add-on. Just want to give you a sense of how to go about creating an add-on for Gravity Forms. So I already have the form, I already have the questions. Go ahead and jump into the code. First thing we need to do is create our plugin. So first thing we do is specify a directory, which is going to be GF scores, and we will call gfscores.php. Now we get open up PHP tags, and I got a snippet for a plugin, and that's just simply going to Add this text we're just gonna call this the gravity forms scores and the description is we do that blank for now we don't need text and we don't need languages and none of that so simple plugin head all right so first thing I want to do is I want to define a constant for the version of our add-on um, so we'll call this GF scores version and we'll call that 0 0.0.1 and now we want to add an action and this we want to hook into the gform loaded hook and we want to call a method within a class that class is going to be gf scores add on bootstrap and we want to call the load method um, we haven't created that we'll create that in just a second and we'll run at a priority of five. All right, so just below, let's go ahead and work on that class. And we need to create a public static method. And we're gonna call the load method here and simply stub it out. So if the method does not exist, um, the method we're looking for is going to be in the gf forms class and it's going to be the include add-on framework and we are going to simply return if that if we do not have access to the framework we will return but if we do we are going to require once we will require our class which we're going to call a gf scores add-on right dot php finally we will call the gf add-on class and call a static method register and we will register our class which is going to be called gf scores add-on all right fix that here Okay, so that'll do it for that class. Um, we just need one more function. That's going to be the GF scores add on. And this is just simply going to return our class, GF scores add on. And we are going to call the get instance method that we need to create. So we're going to create a singleton. So if you're not familiar with single, singleton, it's a design pattern for OOP. Um, you can brush up on it. But uh, we'll go through a little bit on this. So the next thing we need to do is create this file, the GF scores add on .php file. So set up a new file and that'll do it. All right. So in this file, first thing we got to do, we want to go ahead and set up the framework. In order to do that, we grab the GF forms class and we call the include add on framework method. And then we can set up our class. So our class is going to be GF scores add on. This extends the GF add-on class. So now we are going to define a few properties. Um, I'll define one or two, and then I'll edit the rest out. You don't have to watch me type all of this, but we want to do the version. We already declared a constant, so we can just call that constant here. And next thing we'll do is we'll do the min gravity form version, and that's going to do 1.9. 
and I'll go ahead and edit the rest of these in. Okay, so now that we have all of those in, let's go ahead and one last, we need to uh, create a private static variable, which is gonna be instance. And that is gonna be default to null. And um, we'll go ahead and create that singleton method, which is going to be a public static function. We'll get instance. Okay, and this is a singleton pattern here. So if self instance equals null, so if the class is not instantiated, we will instantiate it, calling new gf scores add on, and then we return that instance. Simple enough, that is the singleton pattern. Last thing we're gonna do for this video is we're going to create an init method and we will call the parent init. And let's go ahead and clean that up. Okay, so that should be good enough so we can um, activate our plugin. So let's go ahead and go to plugins. And you can see our gravity form scores here and let's activate it. See if we have any problems and we do not. So just to make sure that this is working, let's go ahead and in the knit function, we'll do a WP die and we will just test, make sure that's, and we die, we reach this method. So we are all good to go. Okay. So that'll do it for this video. In the next video, we'll go ahead and start hooking into gravity forms and um, displaying and working with our scores. Thanks for watching.